Hey guys, today we're bringing you a nice little special snippet from Drew Cawthorn. He was leaving a couple of extra acting tips and some bonus information about working in the haunt industry, and we couldn't let that go to waste. So here, delivered to you today, some more acting tips from Drew. I also came up with a three-tier scare system because the important thing for every actor, no matter if you're working in a haunted house or on Broadway or in uh, Hollywood, you, you want to be remembered. You want to be something that stands out to people. Uh, and in the haunted house, sometimes that can be hard to do. So I have my three-tier scare system. The first thing that you should always try to do is try to go for the scare. That's what you're there for. That's what they pay for. Scare them. But look, you can't scare everybody. And sometimes, you know, they just got scared and then uh, maybe the timing was off, something like that, that's okay. Make them laugh, make them laugh. Uh, do a, have a bit, have a joke, uh, or even like a, a witty insult or something like that you, you can throw at them to make them laugh, because laughter is very important in a haunted house. It relieves tension. And whenever, relie whenever tension is relieved, it has the opportunity to build back up again. And let's face it, some people don't have a sense of humor. So then you gross them out. And uh, that's a cheap way to do things, but it will get a reaction. One of my favorite bits that I'll do with Frankie is I'll, uh, I'll see somebody. Uh, nice looking young thing. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, hey, uh, my name is Frankie. Uh, watch them crawl back. They don't like that. They don't touch y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's probably smart. I'm, I'm real contagious. Uh, you know, little bits. Also, leave your phone all on off. Uh, whenever I started, back in my day, back in the halcyon days of the haunted house industry, back around 2005, whenever I got started, well, we didn't have these computers in our pocket that we were staring at all the time uh, and every down moment that we had. No, instead, uh, I'd be in a room in the dark by myself, waiting and waiting and waiting for the few customers that come there at the very beginning of the season to come trickle through. Well, while I was waiting, I, I talked to myself in character. I figured them out. Who am I? What am I doing? What do I want? What do I like? What do I dislike? In a haunted house, your list of dislikes typically is a lot longer than your list of likes. And uh, you use that. That stuff becomes bits later. Because after all, you're in the middle of doing something. You have this full life as this character that you're living. Whenever somebody comes into your room, you've got to both continue doing whatever it was you were doing before they got there and also react to them. And don't ever make a promise that you can't keep. If somebody's coming through your room and you tell them that I'm gonna cut your head off with this ax, and then they stop and stand there and just look at you and you're in mid swing with that ax and then you, just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. Find other things to do. In my, in my years working at the haunted house because I, because I can be anywhere and I'm typically like walking out in the line uh, as people are waiting to get in, they're not necessarily expecting me and I tend to get pretty close. I have been punched, kicked, slapped, bitten, spit on, vomited at, almost as like a defense mechanism, you know, and uh, penetrated. Uh, uh, somebody elbowed me in the throat one time. Uh, be able to tell the difference between an aggressive hit and a reaction. If you're getting up in somebody's space and they respond to you being there, you can't be mad at them for that. Uh, you can react to it, but don't, don't, uh, uh, don't, don't kick them out or uh, harass them because they reacted to you. It's the reaction that you want. Oh, we're black. We're black, for God's sake. Black socks, black underwear, black undershirt. And then whatever costume they give you. Unless otherwise directed. Because uh, people walk through, they see that white strip of your socks. Or uh, the, the line of your BBD sticking up out of your pants. And it, it immediately takes you out of it. For God's sake. Invest in a pair of black shoes. 
black boots typically good for anything unless you have some character shoes that you're going to be using in your scene uh, black is always the way to go because black is easy to ignore in the dark of a haunted house don't wear anything flashy you got questions for me or have i rambled too much Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that little bonus bit there. Like I said, we just couldn't let that go to waste. Uh, but we do have a special announcement for you. Instead of uploading on Saturday next week like we normally do, we'll be uploading Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and indeed Friday for a five-day event that we're calling Scare Week. We'll hope you'll check it out.